everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, first of all, I am filming this a couple days after Christmas. Technically, it's the Thursday after Christmas, so hopefully I'll get this uploaded soon. But I hope that if you celebrate Christmas, that you had a fantastic Christmas with family or friends, um, and maybe even an opportunity to get some downtime, um, be able to relax, take some time off from work, and really just be able to celebrate the joyous season. If you celebrate any other holidays during this time or don't celebrate any, I hope that you still had a great um, last couple weeks that you got to take some time off of work or you enjoyed whatever holiday that you do celebrate. I know in um, our house we do celebrate Christmas. Um, it was a little different this year, some complications uh, with my family member, but ultimately we were able to get together on Christmas day with our family, most of our family out here in Arkansas. So we had a good day. Um, tried to keep it kind of low stress and um, just be able to get together and have a good time. So that was good. And um, I am definitely behind on filming videos. I have <laughs> four orders here that I would like to record. I'm not gonna get them all done today probably but hopefully over the next couple days I will get them done and be able to get them uploaded. And um, yeah, so I guess I'll just go ahead and jump in on this one. You've seen the title already, but this is a ready to ship haul from Second and Spruce. She opened, gosh, what day was it? It was like early December. I feel like it was December 9th, maybe it was a Saturday. And I was busy, I was somewhere, I can't remember where I was, and I missed the original opening. Maybe about like a half hour or an hour later, I realized that um, she had opened, and so I tried to go on her site, and I was going from my phone, and I was still out wherever I was at the time, I can't remember now. And I noticed that a lot of the scents I was clicking on that I wanted were sold out already. So I just shut down my browser and said, okay, I wasn't meant to be, and I wasn't gonna order. But then I saw everybody starting to get their hauls and I continued melting more second and spruce that I had in my stash and I was just like, I love, I love Erica's wax. And so I was like, let me go on her website and see what she has left. And so I went on her site and she didn't have a lot left, but I went through what she did have and I ended up throwing one of almost everything that she had left on the site into my cart. And there was maybe a couple, like if there were coffee scents, I did not get those because I don't care for coffee. Um, but I did get some of these others. A couple of them I think are repeat scents I've had already. In, I think from the maybe the pre-order, I had a couple of them. But I was just really dying to get more of her wax. And some of these are non-holiday, which is nice. So I'll go ahead and jump in. Um, you do get your her business card. That shows the company information. And then on the back is all the contact information and social media um, info. And then they have their, you know, thank you card and happy melting. And again, just kind of some social media information. Um, they have their little paper that talks about cure time and melting and stuff like that, which she does recommend curing for a month. Um, so far, everything that I've melted, I mean, most of it I think has been past the month mark before I've melted it, but it's performed really well. She also included um, this, and I've seen other people show this. Let's see, she included a bag. It's a tub repair kit so that in case the lid of any of the tubs come cracked, because the lids she's using are a little bit, the, the ones she used on this are a little bit more flimsy. I was gonna say cheaper. I don't know how much they cost, but a little bit more flimsy. And so she did send some extra lids, which is cool. Luckily, none of mine came cracked, but it's nice to have those. And then, let's see, my, my phone was beeping. Then I got a few samples. So I'll jump in. So one sample was in the cute little kind of rainbow colored organza bag. And this one, I have a sample of the same one from, I think my pre-order maybe. This is candy cane cookies, which is peppermint sticks and sugar cookies. So now I have two of these scent shots, which is cool because then I can like melt this in my open concept now. And this smells amazing. I love her milk and cookie scent. Sorry, this is not milk, milk and cookies. This is sugar cookie. But I love the scent because it's not too strong of peppermint. It really does smell like a sweet kind of vanilla peppermint. 
um, and you can smell the cookies on cold, but now that I have two of these, I can melt this in my open concept if I would like. That would be enough for me to put my open concept. I also got a couple like mystery um, samples. This first one here is like two little squares of kind of the snap bar and it, it just says mystery melt. When I smell this one, this one smells like sweater weather which I love sweater weather, so happy to have this one. There might be something else in here, but predominantly what I'm getting is sweater weather, so that smells really good. This other one here, it looks almost like she tried doing like a brittle or something, or maybe she just poured extra wax into a tray. But this one, when I smell this one, it smells like peppermint mocha. Yeah, or at least the chocolatey note. Am I getting peppermint? I'm definitely getting chocolate and maybe a little bit of peppermint. And I do think I have a scent in here that has peppermint mocha in it. So got that. So, and that's a good amount in there that I could definitely do that like in my open concept. All right, so I'll start with the smaller shape. So this first one here is kind of like a little, I say a little, it's, a, it's like a good size bunt. This is Elves in the Break Room. This is Peppermint Mocha and Hints of Holiday Treats. I don't know what the Hints of Holiday Treats is, but if it's just meant to be like candy or if it's meant to be like cookies. So it, I think it's meant to be cookies because it smells like you get the peppermint mocha and then it just smells like there's some kind of um, bakery undertones, not like zucchini bread, but like sugar cookies or something. Yeah, that smells really good. This is a good size bunt. Um, this definitely would be enough probably for my open concept plus like another room at least. I, I probably could cut the pieces smaller um, than what I have been doing for her wax just because her performance is so good. But I try not to get hung up too much on like making really tiny little cuts. I just cut it in bone warmers. I did get two clamshells. This first one is Iced Vanilla Woods. I do like this scent. This is, so it's the Bath and Body Works type and it's vanilla, lavender, smoky, woodsy, musk is what it says. And let's see, she puts like a little bit of a clear glitter on that. Yeah, and Iced Vanilla Woods, this is not the first time I've had it on its own. Um, I got it from another vendor. It is definitely very kind of cologne-y, masculine type scent. I do think I prefer it in blends, but I do really like it. Um, I have to be in the mood for this. This is definitely not something I would melt kind of in my open area. This is more of like something I would put in like a laundry room or a bathroom just because it is strong. Um, does kind of lean a little bit cologne -y. This one might lean a little bit more cologne than maybe some the same scent I've had from other vendors potentially. But I do definitely prefer this in blends and it's amazing how well it goes with like Sweet Bakery. Um, so, but always excited to have that in my collection. And then this other one is Birchwood Pine Nest Type. And this is Pine, Balsam, and Birchwood are the scent notes. Oh, that smells so good. Yeah, just like a really nice, fresh, little bit sweet kind of Christmas tree scent. Yeah, very, very pretty. So I know we're past Christmas. I will melt Christmas scents at least through January, probably getting towards the end of January, I'll probably start getting sick of winter and Christmas tree scents. We'll see. And then some of them may sit in my collection until next year. Okay. So then I got four mini loaves. Um, this first one here is Mrs. Claus's Kiss. This is mallow cream, hot cocoa, and pink sugar. I have never had pink sugar with like a hot cocoa or chocolate type scent. So that is definitely kind of a newer type blend to me. And that smells really good. It's not overly strong on the hot cocoa, at least on cold. And that's what the loaf looks like. It's very pretty because you definitely get the pink sugar. It makes it kind of like a pretty chocolate scent. It almost reminds me, so back in the day, I feel like it was from Bath and Body Works. They had this line of like body care and perfume. And there was one, this is probably like in the, like maybe around 2005-ish, 2006-ish, where they had a chocolate scented line of like perfume and body care products. And a friend bought it for me and I absolutely loved it because it was definitely chocolate, but it was very much like body care leaning. 
And that's kind of what this reminds me of. And I used to wear that all the time. I don't remember the exact name of it. And I used to get compliments all the time on it. Yeah, and that's what this reminds me of because it's chocolate, but it's also feminine and smells like wearable. So it smells really pretty. That pink, it's not distinctly pink sugar that you smell, but you can smell that kind of sweet feminine quality to it. So I'm really excited I got this one and I'm glad it's not like overly hot cocoa. The next one I got is Cashmere Cozy and Smoked Vanilla. And I'm finding, I'm trying not to do overdo cashmere. I do enjoy cashmere, but I find like it's in a lot of blends right now. And I feel like I could easily overdo it and kind of start getting sick of it. But the smoked vanilla, I haven't melted any scents with her smoked vanilla, but I do have a scent shot. I think it's like eggnog and smoked vanilla and it's the smoked vanilla component of it just smells so good. So I was like, okay, I do want to try this one. So this is cashmere cream, cashmere cedar, mallow fireside and smoked vanilla so that just sounds like it's going to be beautiful and relaxing and pretty so pretty yeah really pretty you definitely get i think it's the cashmere cedar that gives it a little bit of kind of like a woodsy note so pretty and then um it definitely has a little bit of smoky note I think it's the same on the top and bottom. It's just different colors. Cause usually when she layers the scent, she'll say it's like layered with, but this smells a little bit like it's creamy. It's a little bit smoky, a little bit woodsy and a little bit like feminine. It's very, very pretty. So this is definitely more of like a bedroom type scent. Although I would still probably put that in like out in my like open concept. It's very, it's very nice. Okay, so this, yeah, this is a repeat. I think it's not from her pre-order. I think I got this in the giveaway that I won. So this is Home for the Holidays, which is Hey Santa layered with milk and cookies. And Hey Santa is like a Christmas tree, peppermint and a cookie scent, I believe. And then it's layered with milk and cookies. Sorry, my ear hurts a little bit. Have you ever got, it's, this is, okay, total off like, what do you call that? Like diversion here. I get where like the bottom of my ear, it feels like it pops out of place. This is going to sound so weird and it'll hurt. And I have to kind of like push it back in. I it's, it, it's not that it like really comes out of place, but it just feels like it gets a little like off or something. And I have to like move it back. In. It sounds totally weird. If you've ever had that, like Definitely let me know I'm not alone, please. But yeah, it'll just hurt until I can kind of pop it back into place and then it's fine. So I got this, I believe in her giveaway. And it smells so good. The tree note in here and the, it's a perfect balance of tree and mint and um, cookie. That's the top layer right there. Yeah, and the mint in this is definitely like a candied mint like a candied peppermint smells so good. And then the milk and cookies, right? Yeah. Milk and cookies is the bottom. So good. Her milk and cookies is fantastic. Yeah. So this smells really good. So now I have too many loaves of this, which I am totally fine with because I haven't melted any of it yet, but now, um, I will definitely have to melt some since I have two of those now. Okay, and then the last of the mini loaves is definitely one that maybe was gonna be a little bit outside of kind of my preference for scents. This is afternoon tea. This is tea and cakes, pistachio macaron, and vanilla bean cookies. Now it's the tea and cakes that I'm generally not a fan of. Tea and cakes generally has like a lemony black tea scent with kind of like a with a bakery note, kind of like an almondy, kind of heavy bakery note in my opinion. And I just, I haven't melted in a long time. I got some scents like early in my wax melting days and just never was a big fan. Um, but I'm loving pistachio scents these days. So I went ahead and got this because I thought, okay, let me see how it does because I feel like um, most of the stuff I've melted from Second and Spruce or received from Second and Spruce the scents have been blended really well where you get a good balance of the different scent notes. This smells really good. You definitely get the pistachio and I can smell a little bit of that tea with the lemon and a little bit of that like 
I'm gonna call it like an almond cake note that comes in the tea and cakes. And also maybe because I've been enjoying almond more. So if you are someone who enjoys tea and cakes, um, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you find that it kind of has a little bit of an almond cake note to it? I feel like I'm picking that up, but I don't know if that's coming from the pistachio macaron or from the tea and cakes. But it smells good. It's fresh, it's kind of like sweet, it's bakery. This is definitely one that would be good for like spring, but I also feel like it is a little bit of a heavy bakery, so it also could be good for winter. Yeah, I'm excited for this one and to get some kind of non-holiday scents from her. I'm definitely gonna be ordering when she does a pre-order in January, I believe. Sometime in January she's supposed to do a pre-order. I'm for sure gonna order because I definitely wanna try out more of her non-holiday um, scents. Okay, so this one, oh, I have two repeats here in tubs. So I got five tubs and I just, I love tubs. It's probably, one of my favorite shapes in general from vendors now because I think it's like easy storage. You don't have to double bag. Like although her these lids are a little bit flimsier, they are um, tighter and more secure and durable than say like Salt Mountain Melts. I feel like Salt Mountain Melts, her lids are just super flimsy. I do not care for them at all. I just put those into a bag, a seven by seven bag. But these, although a little bit flimsier than what she's planning to do permanently, um, are still pretty secure, they feel like. So anyhow, this one is Holiday Market. I do have this in a mini loaf. I've melted half of it already. Love the scent. It is so beautiful. This is Fraser Fir, Caramel Apple Cider, and a hint of cinnamon and sugar. Um, love this one. I've melted it, I think like a week ago. I was gonna do a non-empties video, and I just, with the complications my family member had, I was not able to do it. It's just so pretty. Such a beautiful blend of the Fraser Fir. You get a little bit of the apple cider. It does have some spice. It smells like there's like some spice kind of with that cider note, but then you also get the cinnamon sugar. So gorgeous. And this was a strong thrower when I melted it in my open concept. So excited to have more. The other repeat, um, and I'm trying to think, I think I melted some of this as well. Let me see. Yeah, I've melted half of the mini loaf I have in this one as well. This is Christmas on Spruce, which is holiday wreath, festive berries, sugar cookies, and hint of warm fireplace. And um, this one, when I melted it, I got mostly the holiday wreath and the festive berries, which was beautiful. I wasn't on warm smelling any of the cookie or the fireplace. So I'm even though you get exceptional performance from her wax right away, I am kind of wondering if I let this one sit for a while and let it cure longer, if those scent notes will come out, those like the um, sugar cookie and the fireplace scent notes will come out if this lets, if I let it cure for a couple more months. Oh, it smells so good. I mean, on cold, you definitely get more of the wreath and the berries. Um, but you get a little bit of the fireplace and a little bit of a cookie note. So I really do wanna let this one cure a little bit more. This is poor December one, so this is not even a month old. So, and maybe because it's in a tub, I feel like hopefully this is gonna be like a nice, good seal for this. Maybe save this for Christmas 2024. I was gonna say 2025. I think because as we start getting near the end of 2023, I think you start seeing 2024 so much that my mind already feels like we're in 2024, even though we're not. And so I was gonna say 2025, but that's a little far away still. Okay, the next one here is London Fog. This is Earl Grey Tea, Lavender, and Vanilla. So again, this one was kind of a little bit out of like the normal scent preference I would have, just because the Earl Grey Tea in this, I think she did describe it as having a lemon scent with it, I believe. Or either she didn't say that, but I was kind of like, I'm pretty sure it's gonna have a lemon note. Um, I generally prefer my tea, no, like tea scents without the lemon note in them. I prefer just kind of like a black tea um, type scent, but I thought I'd give this one a try because it has the lavender and it has the vanilla. So I was excited to try this one. Here's the inside. This is so pretty. I don't think I've had her lavender yet. Um, so I think there's a hint, just a touch of lemon in the Earl Grey tea. 
but I think I don't so I think the Earl Grey tea is a little bit more has a little bit more of like a floral note and like the tea note it definitely smells like tea leaves and kind of has a little bit of a pretty floral note having not had her lavender I'm not sure um like I'm not getting a lot of lavender in this so I don't know if the lavender is giving this more of an herbal note like an herbaliness that smells so good though yeah this is beautiful I really really enjoyed this one this is really beautiful I wouldn't pick this up and say "Ooh, that's a tea scent or that's a lavender scent like it just blends together so well yeah, it's really pretty. I'm excited to see what that does on warm. Okay, two more. Uh, this one here is Winter Citrus Wreath. And I believe this is the Bath and Body Works type. It's citrus, pine, clove, woods, and musk. And I love the way she has this one decorated with like the little kind of snowflakes in there on the green wax. So this smells very similar to the Winter Citrus Wreath from Bath & Body Works. I've never um, melted that candle. I assume they make it in a candle. I have the hand wash in my kitchen right now and it smells so pretty. That citrusy note does make it, kind of gives it like a nice clean scent. And I feel like I'm definitely getting that in here um, on cold. It's very, very, very similar to um, at least the hand soap. And um, I do think it leans a little bit clean, but it's very pretty. It's kind of like a clean, fresh Christmas tree scent with a little bit of that citrus note. I have this scent from another vendor that I just melted recently. And when my niece walked into the house, she's like, it smells like tree in here. And she's like, it smells good. She's like, that's a fake tree though, right? Like, and she actually, she lives here like kind of part-time because she lives with her boyfriend a lot too. She stays at her boyfriend's house a lot. But so she, she's been in and out of the house with our fake tree that's up. And so it was funny. She like commented, she's like, but that's a fake tree. Like, so her nose, granted it wasn't second and spruce, but from the other vendor, when I melted that, her nose picked up like an authentic tree scent. And so I think that citrus note gives it kind of that like, um, little bit, I'm going to call it acidic. I don't know that that's the right word, but it gives it a little bit of that, like, um, punch from like a natural tree scent. Like if you break a pine needle or something like that. So I'm hoping this kind of has that same effect. Really excited to have that. And then the very last one here is nutcrackers and gnomes. This is roasted chestnuts, pecans, masala chai, brown sugar, and mallow fireside. I was really excited to get this one because of the roasted chestnuts, the masala chai, love brown sugar, love mallow fireside. I wasn't sure about the pecans because pecans can be really good for me and sometimes they can be a little too heavy and like a little too rich or something like that. So I was a little unsure about this one but thought I would go ahead and give it a try. Let me get the lid off. That's what it looks like inside, how pretty. This is fantastic it smells so good you get the richness of the roasted chestnuts and i do think that pecan note in there is giving it a richness as well but it's not like distinctly pecan which i appreciate and you get the spiciness from the masala chai um and then it just smells sweet yeah that is beautiful that is so so good it is very rich it's definitely spicy yeah, I'm really excited to melt this one too. This one might be one I will, I've said this on several videos, I will continue to melt fall and winter and Christmas scents pretty much through the end of winter. Um, at some point I'll start getting tired of them and probably um, start wanting like spring, summer scents, but I at least have a good two to three months in me of wanting you know, heavier bakery and those kind of more fall type scents and stuff like that. So I'll probably try to break into this one, at least melt it once um, this winter because that smells fantastic. So anyhow, this is my second in Spruce Hall. I absolutely love this vendor. The wax just performs like top notch. You don't have to wait for cure time. The one thing I'm going to be interested to see is what the shelf life is for this wax. As you guys know, I have a huge wax collection. I'm gonna try not to overbuy with her. 
um, and try to kind of melt it as I get it. You definitely don't need cure time. Um, and so hopefully her wax has a, like a decent shelf life, but things that are like come in just bags like this, I'll probably try to make sure I melt faster just because even though these are appropriate polypropylene bags, the oils just tend to start seeping after a little while. Um, but I feel like probably the mini loaves and the tubs will probably hold up a little bit longer. Um, anyhow, so that's what I got. I know this is like probably way later than most people posted, but like I said, when I went in and ordered, it was probably at least a week, maybe a little bit longer from when she actually officially opened. Um, she shipped it out that same evening and I've had this probably for about a week now. I think it did come right before Christmas. So anyhow, thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.